Thank you PetSmart for partnering with me on today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be getting into a little fun video. I'm gonna show you guys what a day or a typical day in my life looks like as a cat mom, which means you guys have probably been seeing a lot of Mimi up until now and you will see a lot more of her throughout this video. For those of you who are new here, I got Mimi in September of last year. So she has officially been a member of our family for October, November, December, January, November. Five months, she's five months. Or she's been with us for five months. She's eight months, coming up on eight months in a couple of days. She's growing so quickly. She's actually right next to me. She just walked away, but I love her to pieces. This girl has honestly brought so much light and laughter to our household. And some of you are probably like, can a cat really bring that much light and laughter to a household? And the answer is yes. She has made all of our lives so much better, including my mom. Her and my mom are besties now. Like they literally cannot live without each other. If y'all hear her kicking the ball, please do not mind it. But her and my mom are best friends to the point that sometimes she'll cry in front of my mom's door. She'll just sit outside her room and cry for hours until my mom lets her in. So like I said, it just brought so much light and laughter and just fun to our lives. Like she's so much fun. Being that she is a lot of fun, she's also a little high maintenance, okay? And she recently opened up to me and let me know that she was not feeling a lot of the cat furniture that I initially got for her. Now, for those of you who have been here for a while, you know when I first got Mimi, I splurged on a bunch of stuff because I just wanted to make sure that she had the most pleasant experience being in my care. And for a long time, she has showed so much gratitude, but it wasn't until recently that she opened up to me and let me know that she has been wanting an upgrade and a lot of the stuff that I have for her is a little bit dated so I was so excited when PetSmart reached out to partner with me on today's video because Mimi is not your average cat she's a very very picky cat and she only wants the best for herself and of course as her owner I only want the best for her that is why I upgraded some of her furniture to the Nate and Jeremiah collection at PetSmart what I love most about the Nate and Jeremiah collection at PetSmart is that they have redefined what pet furniture and accessories can look like I think a lot of times Pet furniture and accessories can be a little bit tacky, but Nate and Jeremiah have somehow managed to give us the most stylish collection of cat beds, cat bowls, cat placemats. I actually have her cat bed from Nate and Jeremiah right next to me. This is the donut bed. She loves sleeping this. If only y'all knew how much this girl thanked me when PetSmart sent this bed over. She's literally crawling in it right now. She loves this thing so much. And the great thing about it is that it's portable, of course. So sometimes when I'm working in my office, I'll just put it in there and she'll sleep along next to me so she's really 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 been loving the bed not just because it's comfortable but because it's stylish it fits into the natural aesthetic of our household i mean look at the pillow in the background look at the beige you see the vision? So if you're someone that really wants to give your pet the best furniture and accessories without compromising the look of it and the aesthetic, the Nate and Jeremiah collection at PetSmart is where you need to be shopping. Along with upgrading her cat bed, I also upgraded her placemat where she eats. Before it was giving bland, I'm not gonna lie, but I didn't know much before, okay? I didn't know that there were brands like Nate and Jeremiah who could offer us such stylish and aesthetic cat accessories. Now that she has the new placemat, it just gives a much more tasteful and stylish and environment which Mimi loved. Like I said, she's a very, very picky cat with high taste. So for those of you guys who are interested in upgrading your pet's furniture, accessories, food bowls, things like that, you can click the link in my description box to shop the Nate and Jeremiah collection at PetSmart right now. I don't know if these beds in particular are going to be there for long because they are so stinking cute. I feel like I need to get one for each room in the house because I love it so much. So if you are interested in the bed or anything else from their collection, make sure to click the link in my description box to shop now. And thank you so much to PetSmart for sponsoring today's video. I don't know if there are any other updates I can give you. She pretty much acts the same as she did when we first got her, except of course she's a lot more comfortable with her environment now. She's a lot more brave. She's always like, 
curious about things. She's starting to jump on things and push things off counters and tables, which we're gonna have to get her to stop doing that. But she is very smart. Very, very smart. I don't know if it's just me as a great cat mom or her as a great cat or just the two of us together, but like we speak our own language now. There's a lot of words that when I say them, she knows exactly what I mean. So let's say, let me carry her and see if you guys can see her reaction. Let's say I tell you guys, I'm going to make some food for myself because I want to eat some food and it's about to walk to the cat <laughs> Mimi, there's no food. You ate already this morning. Food is one word that like, she knows that like the back of her hand, okay? Food, treat. Oh, you guys need to see her. Treat Mimi. Oh, and of course she answers her name now. Like every time I call her Mimi, she'll come running no matter where she is in the house. So she loves the word food. She loves the word treat. She loves the word toy. She knows stop too. She is very well acquainted with the word stop because she's always getting into business. She has no business being in. So there's a lot of words that have been added to her vocabulary recently. And for some reason, it's only when I say them that she listens to them. Like sometimes my mom will say it or my sister will say like treat. My mom will say food. And occasionally she'll answer them. But for the most part, like she only answers me when I say those words. So I mean, maybe we just have that kind of connection. I love her so much. She's about to be one year old. Like where is the time going, Mimi? Where are you going? So fast, mama. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she, like her pattern is coming out so much. She's gotten so much darker, especially in the face. Like you can see this pattern on her forehead was not there before. And if it was, it was very, very light. She's changing colors. There's like a hair on my face. Another thing is that her hair be everywhere. She's always shedding. There's always something on my face, on my lips, on my clothes, in a lot of places, in a lot of places. I do try to upkeep her on like a maintenance routine. So I'll brush her, I'll trim her nails, things like that. Come here. Come here, mama. I purposely dressed like this today so that we can kind of twin. I don't think it's giving twin much, but the attention is there. Hi, Mimi. Hi, my girl. <laughs> so the general plan for the day i need to wash the dishes that wasn't a part of the initial plan but for some reason the sink is piled to the max for the dishes so i need to do the dishes i have a lot of editing i need to do i have some content i need to submit tomorrow so we're gonna get that done and then besides that let me see that's pretty much it it's a pretty chill day and most days are like this. I'm either filming or I'm editing something. On the occasion, like I'll go somewhere, but for the most part, like a lot of my work takes place in the house. So she's always very happy to know that I'm home with her. On that note, let's go ahead and get started on these dishes. Mimi, stop. Stop. So the first order of business is to, of course, start our day with a lot of 
trust me, it is so worth it. Hey. Like with any other habit, with practice comes a little bit of ease every time. Because this will never not, will never not feel unnatural to me. Little update, I'm still editing. Editing typically takes me anywhere between four to six hours and that's me being delusional. Editing actually takes me anywhere from five to seven, eight hours I would say. So. I am gonna take a break soon because 6 p.m. is rolling around and Mimi normally has dinner around that time. I don't like to keep her waiting because if I do, she will get very loud and remind me that it's time to feed her dinner. So we're gonna feed her dinner soon. I'm just gonna try and wrap up as much editing as I can. Got a little headache, I'm not gonna lie, but we gotta push through, okay? I woke up very early today, so it's around this time where I start feeling like I need to drop everything and go to sleep, but I don't like to work past 6 p.m. anyway, so we're wrapping up for the day. I think it's worth noting that when you become a pet parent, specifically a cat parent, because I can only speak from my experience as a cat mom, there is something about it that forces you to get in touch with your inner child and kind of operate from that space when you are interacting with your pet because she's just a baby at the end of the day. And in order to think like her and understand her, I have to get on her level sometimes. And it's something I've noticed between all of us in our household. Whenever my mom interacts with her, she will sit on the floor just to play with her and to talk to her. And my sister does the exact same thing. And I think there's something really beautiful about that. She's managed to get us all very soft and mushy and playful, more playful than ever before. So I really love her for that. And that concludes today's video, I guess. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I know it's short. I'm working on getting the longer videos out for you guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you were able to learn anything from today's video or if you have a cat of your own. I'd love to hear your cat names down below in the comment section. So make sure to leave a comment. And inshallah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.